Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Wind Waker HD. I'm Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we got the speed cell and we also made our way back up to here in the Forsaken Fortress, which is where we were like previously, like episode two, I think maybe, and we got flung away by a big bird. Now we're going to go back in here because we have the Master Sword, we have a hammer, we have a sail that makes us sail faster, we have a lot more hearts, we are genuine, kind of, kind of hardy anyway because we've had so many harsh experiences. This is Vendetta served up on a plate with vegetables. Maybe not with vegetables. We don't need vegetables to improve this experience. Just check it out. Yep. Yeah. Coast is clear. Just go to work. Not going to muck about anymore. Let's go. Job is Alpha Team. Alpha Team go. It's more, more touching than that. It's not quite uh yeah. Yes, I'm okay. I'm in my I'm in, I'm in my pajamas. I don't know why. I'm supposed to be in green clothes. Not sure why. Let's open the cell door because clearly it's going to be open. Yes, it is. Thank you, Tetra. It's perfect timing to tell me that the cell door is in fact shut. Thank you very much. So, uh, yes. This looks familiar, doesn't it? When was the last time we saw these people? I can't remember what the last time we saw these people. Oh, it was it was the it was the windfall. Yeah, windfall. Okay. Let's remember that. Oh, she sees the Master Sword. She knows what it is. Why does she know what it is? But she knows what it is. And she's confused. That sword, yes. Are you just pleased to see me? Ha 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 ha. That's a knee slapper. I'm not going to slap the knee, but that's a knee slapper. Harder? How could that be? I don't know. Look, what I did is I beat this guy with hands, and then we went underwater, and I got a sword from an underwater castle frozen in time i don't know okay yeah so tetra and oh, like goons or piratey people i'm gonna take everybody back to windfall she has giant eyes like big cat eyes not cat eyes but like you know those cats with like really big eyes or like the pupils are just one massive big like black pools those sort of things i don't know i'm making this up as i go along can you tell uh anyway so now Okay, okay, we've had the touching moment where uh, we have to save Ariel, or, yeah, that's her name, Ariel. You know, Little Mermaid, whatever. So, basically, now we've got the big important thing to do. We've got, you know, she's safe. Tetra's going to look after her. The pirates are going to look after her. That's okay. But, there's a bit of vengeance in the air. There's a little bit of electricity in the air, because that bird... Fucking flew us into the ocean, okay? That wasn't very nice of it, okay? So, I think there needs to be some Smackdown. Like, okay, Ganon can come later, you know? We might we might get to Ganon. We probably will get to Ganon, but that bird, okay? That bird needs to die, okay? Jackass! Stop calling me Jackass! My God. That, that wink. The wink is never a good thing. Last time that happened, we nearly died. So, does this mean we're nearly going to die again? That's uh, not very encouraging. That's not encouraging either. And that's really not encouraging. And that's a whole world of un uncouraging. In un not very un- Whatever. Fuck it. Bird's coming down. Let's go. Glorious Smackdown time. This is- This is revenge. Vendetta. V for fucking v v Vesophorus. Vo Velociraptor. Let's go. Okay. So this is- This is a boss fight. Kind of. This part really isn't good. It's kind of a boss fight. At the moment, we're just kind of trying to ascend this, like, internal tower. And uh, it does mean that I need to not fall off. I'm actually pretty good at this when I'm concentrating on this and only this. I've never done it with commentary. I, like, never failed this. I've never fallen off. I've never had to backtrack and go up the various bits. And I don't know. I'm just kind of, like, rambling so I can concentrate more. Don't you like it? But we have a hammer, that's important. The hammer is important, we got it in this dungeon, which means we need to use it against the Helm Rock King. Which is uh, a good thing, because I want to smack something in the fucking face! Oh, that didn't work. In the fucking face! There we go! How did I miss it and hit the side of the wall? Or like the lip on the entrance? How did... <laughs> Doesn't matter. Because we just fucking killed the bird. That's fine. Anyway. That's it, guys. Let's go face Ganon. Where's, where's, where's Ganon? That way's Ganon. Just gonna, a little mini cutscene to show that, the, you know, we're at the top of the Four Second Fortress, the little entrance place is gonna close, so we can, you know, go across, the little spikes over there, we can go there, we can go take down Ganon. 
Oh, it's alive. That's unfortunate. Look at all those feathers. It's molting. Okay, so not only is it quite a strong beast, it's also molting considerably, which isn't good. Uh, if you ever have a cat or a dog that's molting, uh, it's not good because there's like hair everywhere. I've like four, I have four cats and a dog and like nine chickens. So I know what molting is. I'm like an expert on animals molting. Okay, I, I, I you know, I have to wear like smart suits to work, and it's covered in cat hair. And I like spend the train journey trying to wipe off this fucking cat hair. <laughs> There's so much of it, and it, it, it's hard to wipe off because there's just so much like fine hairs. They have like short cats, short haired cats. There's a cat! There's a cat on my fucking bed right now. There's a cat just sleeping. I like to think that he's listening into what I'm saying and smiling with a friggin' evil cat and watching him. Anyway, we got, we got a bird boy to fight. He, he is a boy, he's the Helmrock King, so he is a king, not, not like a queen or anything. He's not so inclined. He's a... Uh, look, can you just smack your beak in the fa Okay, whatever. We can, like, follow him around. Uh, hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Are you going to smack... Ah, oh. There is something he can do, is when he does that sort of talon glide thing, where he, like, tries to rake your shit. I don't know. Um, he can... Oh, that was going to be... <laughs> I was just going to... I was trying to line that up so we could see it first person. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, now I'm taking damage. Let's do this properly. I have got a fairy. That's good. Um, I don't want to die, especially with what's coming next, because we've got to face Ganon as well, so... Whoa, and bang! No, there's another one! I thought it was three! No! You cheating piece of bird poo! You're like, wee! Is he gonna... There we go! Thank you very much! That was fantastic! He's, uh, he's a little bit dim, the uh, Helm Rock King. I'm not gonna lie, I do like this fight. I think it might be my favourite in the game. Might be my favourite in the game, I'm not sure. I think it's just more the what you know what surrounds the fight rather than the actual fight itself, because the actual fight I wouldn't say it's boring, but it's quite simple. It's sort of annoyingly simple, because it's just, you know, avoid the talons, don't get hit by his face, don't get hit by his claws, don't go into first person mode, because that's really stupid. Um, and then when he comes to roost, comes down here. Pull out your hammer, look menacing, back, forward, boom, let's rock and roll, your helmet is gone, let's wreck your fucking shit all over the place. It's going to be a beautiful moment, come back down here you piece of sh- I don't know. Where is he? Get back here, get back here. Bird boy, bird boy. What's the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, no Arnold Schwarzenegger one. Yeah, it is the Arnold Schwarzenegger, because it's uh, Mr. Freeze. Bird boy. Stay cool! I can't do the voice. It's, oh, it's a kind of... It's the Arnold Schwarzenegger with a little bit of... Stay cool! I can't do it! This is my stupid voice. I don't know. Anyway, in between all of that, we've managed to kill the Elm Rock King. And of course, he doesn't die in a normal way. All the lights congregate on his dead body, and out of the sky falls a fucking cart container. So happy. I love how Link can jump around holding a big hammer with one hand. That's that's fantastic. Anyway, that's good. Also, quick thing. Look at all the feathers. I was t I told you he was molting. He was molting like crazy, and uh, he died molting. I guess if he like exploded by the force of all the lights. I don't know. There's a bit of there's a wood. Okay. So here we are. This is a. Uh, if, if we were going to be Ganon, he was like standing here, and he said, "Yes, send him over there," and he fl flung us. And we, we, we went over there, somewhere, and then we like met up with King of Red Lion, so it's not so bad, but we want to take him down, which is what we're going to be doing right now. Okay, this is fun. I mean, you've probably played this game before, and you probably know what's going to happen, but still, this is like first contact. Before it was just like a, a fleeting glimpse, now we get to see the guy face to face. The big guy, yes. He's pretty big. I, mean, I think he's kind of, he's not very like muscular in this game. He's more kind of just fat, really. <laughs> Which is uh yes. Reckless reckless courage. We have a lot of that. We are a little boy. And he is the master of the Forsaken Fortress. Fuck! Okay, that doesn't work very well. We're a little boy, he's the master of the Forsaken Fortress. I think we're outnumbered. Not even outnumbered, but not good, yes. So yeah, we, we took the sword from Hyrule. 
and then everybody started dancing again. Why was that? That's a good question. No, I don't know. I d tell me, please, tell me. I have no idea. I've never played this game before. Tell me. Yes, the Master Sword was like a, like a stop. I don't know. It's like a, a, a finger on a knot. I don't know. And he pulled it away, and everything was good again. And he's like, no! Let's take him down. Here we go, guys. He's going to do like a parry. Oh. Didn't work. Didn't work. It didn't work. Didn't actually see what he did. Did he, like, block it? Like a big block. I don't know. Can we can, can we have another go? Oh, okay. That didn't work. Damn it. Damn it. Guys, we did it wrong again. It's really annoying. I'm bad at this game, guys. I'm sorry. I'm very bad at this game. So, our sword is powerful, but not powerful enough. And I'm sorry, guys, but that's it. Uh, this this is the end. See you later, guys. It's been rapidly... Oh, look. It's a pirate. It's Tetra. See, why couldn't we do this? I'm, we can, like, backflip and stuff. Surely we can, like, duke it out with Ganon in such a way. I mean, we don't want to end up like that with someone's hand around our neck, but still. Pathetic little sea rat. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Her hair's, like, green. That's a... That's a very... Cult, awesome glowing Triforce, I like that. On his face. You see how it reacts with his face. I have found you, Princess Zelda! Oh! Oh, the cat's out the bag! Oh, the cat. There's a cat. It doesn't work, there's a cat next to me, but oh, the cat's out the bag! Oh, here we go. This is like serious, serious spoilers, but it's happening right now. So, oh, didn't I just have a. Oh, and. When they're just a, what? How did that? Okay. <laughs> you got played, son. You have no idea what just happened. What the fuck? Oh, that's not good. More people with bright glowing eyes. Does look quite nice. Ah, oh, this went badly. Absolutely. Ganon is toast. Fried chicken wings. Fried. He's a chick. I don't know. <laughs> There's a joke there somewhere. I don't know what the joke is. Don't tell me, because I just don't know. I don't know. Do you expect me to know? Anyway, so after that, we didn't kill Gan. We killed his minion, the big bird. The big bird. That's uh, Sesame Street, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Albert Tetra's dead. Oh dear. That's bad. Ah, oh, I wanted her to be dead. You'd be You're not backing up my points. You're not backing up my points. That's why it didn't work. So of course, yes, we did save our sister. We didn't kill Ganon. We killed the Camrock King, that was good. Uh <laughs> I think this was Hylian, but I'm trying to I'm trying to think if he actually spoilers spoils anything serious. I'm trying to think. Uh No, I think I'll leave that in, because one, I can't be bothered to spoil that. And two, he doesn't actually spoil anything. I don't think he's just he just sort of speaking normally. It would be in high lean normally, but it doesn't matter because he's just literally it's just uh, you know Ganon is strong. Really? Wow! I didn't know that. It's not like he's the king of evil and one of the like holders of the Triforce, but you know he cannot be killed by fire. I had no idea, guys. I had no idea. Maybe I was wrong there. Anyway, but even with that, we are going back to the dark. The evil depths of under the water, under the water, into back to Hyrule. It's not grayscale anymore, so that's perfect. And she's down here. Hello. Yes. She, I'm not even sure she really knows what's going on. What happened to Ganondorf? That's a good point. What did happen to Ganondorf? Look, he, oh, okay. I, I want to get a freeze frame of that pose, because I love that pose. It's just like, he's so relaxed. He's so relaxed, and then he gets the shit scared out of him. By the, the the thing, the the stone, the the fee stone. I don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just how relaxed he was. He's just like, ah, oh, it's all in a day's work. I don't know if he's flirting with Tetra or something. But then, holy shit, a stone is talking to me again. It's uh, it's like you're frightening. I don't know. Yes, yes, I am very important. It's what the clothes say. They're blue clothes. Know your place, woman. That's deep water. That is very deep water. We're actually the same height. 
except she's her hair's a bit, bit taller. Anyway, but with that, because time is a wasting, not time is a wasting, but time is uh, moving on a bit, and she's being a bit dumb. Okay, Tetra, are you, are you okay? So you'd think after like 12 years, 10, 11 years, they'd fix the AI in this game. But at any rate, guys, this has been Rebel Luigi. This has been Let's Play Wind Waker HD. And in the next episode, we're going to go back to like the depths of Hyrule Castle, the basement where we found the Master Sword. And we're going to un unravel this tapestry of mysteries that has been, uh, been like a shadow over this game so far. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Take care.